Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Dan Does Tech Stuff. Um, if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. Also, turn on your notifications when I post up new videos. It really helps the channel a lot. Um, so today, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to add memory using an SD card or micro SD card to your ROG Ally X or maybe your ROG OG. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, Ever since I got this bad boy here, I've been on a downloading rampage. So it's basically served as my main PC for the most part. i uh, use my Touch ID here. And I've been downloading like crazy stuff. You can see I've got like Modern Warfare. That takes up like 150 gigabytes. I've got Grand Theft Auto 5. I put on Cyberpunk 2077. So running out of space. Look at that. I've got, uh, can you see that? Only 23 gigabytes left of my 952 gigabytes. Okay, so I got a one terabyte SD card. Um, I'm not confident opening it up yet, but I probably will end up doing that. So today it's just kind of an easy upgrade um, to add one terabyte memory. And then this one, cool, had a, an adapter that comes with it. Now, a lot of folks were talking about the original launch models of the ROG Ally, which for some reason the placement of the SD card was super close to the fan or the weight on, on the internals. And so it was really burning up the SD cards. So I think they released a few patches to see if that would help. But, uh, I kind of waited for this unit to come out because I didn't want to do any damage to these uh, SD cards, these micro SD cards, because they were quite expensive. You know, this one right here was like a hundred bucks just to add one terabyte. And um, sometimes the speed matters. Um, this one here has 190 megabits per second. So they are quite expensive. And so the last thing you would want is one of these guys in your unit burning up. So my suggestion though, um, if you're gonna download a game, and, I, and I've had personal experience with this uh, using other PCs, if I download like a Steam game directly to the SD card, sometimes there's a potential for it to get too hot and it'll stop downloading and it could potentially damage your card. So what I normally do is I would probably download the game first to your ROG Ally X, right? The internal hard drive and then do a transfer over to your uh, SD card. That's what I would do uh, to each their own. But let's go ahead and uh, open this guy up and uh, we'll install this one terabyte micro SD card onto the ROG Ally X. It's crazy to think that these cards, as small as they are, can hold a terabyte worth of data. That is insane. Like, I think it's like alien technology how all that works. <laughs> I, I don't know how they were able to make this thing so small yet hold so much data. Okay. And I've seen like some over two terabytes. I don't know. You never know how technology works. It's always changing. So let's go ahead and take this guy out. Okay. Okay. So what you want to do is uh, take your micro SD card find your SD slot here so USB-C, USB-C4, your events and then your power, your audio and here is your micro SD card slot. Put that in all the way in until you hear a little click. Okay, should click right in. And what's great about these micro SD cards is as soon as you stick them in, it will detect it. So you can see I have 953 gigabytes available. Okay, so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go into my Steam library. Know, let's see what kind of sales I got going on. Anything good? Uh, God of War Ragnarok just came out as well as Final Fantasy 16. So... I might pick those up. Maybe on sale. Maybe during Black Friday. $49.99. $59.99. Going off on tangent here. So what you want to do is when you stick the 
SD card in for Steam. This is for Steam because I use Steam a lot. You go to your Steam icon. And you're going to go to settings. Okay. You're going to go down to where it says storage. And then on the right hand side it says what your storage is. So you can do the drop down menu here. You can go add drive. You can see add drive. It's going to look for the external drive, which is a D drive now. Just hit OK. And that's it. Okay. This video here is just to show you how to add more memory to your ROG Ally. Okay. So when you go back in to your desktop, you will be able to see that you do have more memory and then what I what I recommend again take your Steam games download them directly to your internal hard drive first and then go to your properties menu and then move that install file over to your SD card and that way you'll probably preserve the life and also a little bit of the heat that would go into a micro SD card okay all right, with that said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know how you transfer games to your ROG device and what's your favorite game that you're playing right now. With that said, catch you on the next video and have an awesome day. Bye for now.